Hey y'all, I'm Corey Ashton and this is day three of 30. It's like the 12 days of Christmas, but it's really the 30 days of SEO. I am walking you through step-by-step -step impactful changes that you can make on your WordPress website today. You don't have to know a bunch of code. You can just go in and follow me step-by-step. -step. If you'd like to work ahead, I have in the description box below a link where you can go over and watch the course totally for free and download the worksheet. All right, let's get to today's question. We've already covered question one and two. Today's question is on your homepage, does your page title include your location as well as your major keyword or phrase? So note, this is important if you are focused in a specific location area, a specific service area, or a specific city, something like that, that you really, really need people to physically come to you, come to your brick and mortar, come to your location. Location-based services as well, right? Only if you service certain zip codes or cities or territories, you might want to have those be specified on your website. So let me show you some examples. So something like a hosting company like Liquid Web doesn't really need to be location driven because they can have clients literally around the world use their services, right? It's a digital solution. Um, so there's nothing that needs to be specifically targeted to a territory, a location. However, if you are a service-based company like a roofer and somebody jumps over to Google and does a Google search for roofing San Antonio, you know, or roofing near me or roofing companies near me, whatever that looks like, it's all going to play off of location-based marketing. So understanding how to do that on your website is super, super important. That's where you're going to see something like this. Remember that these little paragraphs are called Google snippets. And organically, what I've done here is I've gone to Google and I've just done a search for roofing San Antonio. Of course, the initial listings here are going to be ads, purchased positioning. Uh, but when we move further down the screen, you're going to see here the search results render a map. That is important for location-based marketing. And then also all of these next um, listings that are coming down here in the SERPs, you're going to see something really key and interesting. Look at this, Titan Roofing, number one roofing contractor in San Antonio. So here we have the word roofing and San Antonio right here inside of their page title. Inside of their description now, you're going to see a repetition of keywords. Again, you're gonna see San Antonio based residential roofing, right? Roofing and roofs mentioned multiple times here. So let's go into this website and see if we can find even more iterations of well-placed meta description for location. So right away, you're gonna see San Antonio's trusted roofing experts, okay? Proudly serving Texas homeowners for 15 years. Remember that up in their uh, snippet, remember this, in this snippet right here, this is being controlled by the page title on their home page. So you definitely want to be sure that your home page has the correct meta tags on it that allows this to be called correctly. You also want to be certain that that type of language lives in your header tags down the page, like an H1 or an H2 further down the page. So as you scroll down, we might want to see it again. Here you go, San Antonio and Central Texas and roofing. So you're going to see these keywords uh, right next to each other, allowing Google to clearly understand that we are a location-based service, right? The words serving, all of that is something legible that uh, Google watches for. Google's also looking for things like this, where we see a map with your address on it. Google can understand that this is showing where we're located. Google can also read your address of operation here and read that it's San Antonio, Texas. So all of these little extra moments of mentioning your location easily and quickly give signals to Google that, hey, if somebody's doing a search for roofing services in San Antonio, Titan Roofing needs to be rendered on that page one. So your next question might be, well, how the heck do we go in there and actually change or impact or add to our page titles our location. Well, you can use a free plugin called Yoast SEO, Y-O-A-S-T, 
Yoast SEO, you can come into this area on any page, any post on your website and add in the focus key phrase. And then right down here, they're showing you a preview of your snippet here. Right down here, you can change exactly what it states. So you can back all that out and you can say something like, uh, best roofing company in San Antonio. And notice that while I'm writing this SEO title, it's showing me exactly what my snippet is going to look like. And we can say uh, free estimates, right? Uh, you can put anything like that in there. Notice that the line starts to turn to green. That shows me that's the right amount of characters. It's looking good. And then I can come in here and adjust my meta description for the page. So the two major things you really wanna be impactful on and mentioning your location is gonna be your SEO title as well as your meta description here. If you'd like to learn more specifically about the free plugin called Yoast for improving your SEO on your WordPress website, I have an entire playlist for you on this YouTube channel that allows you to go from beginner to advanced using that plugin. I highly recommend it as it gives you full control to really understand how to implement your keywords and make those impactful changes on every single page and post. I'm going to talk more about that tomorrow as well. So I hope this helps you. Again, if you'd like to work ahead inside of this worksheet, be sure to visit the description box below. I have a link there where you can go over and follow the entire course and download the worksheet for you to track your own website or potentially all of your clients' websites. I hope this helps you. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye, everyone.